ever wondered how to build a budget-friendly gaming PC? Well, you're in the right place. Gaming PCs are the heart of any gamer's setup, but they don't have to break the bank. In fact, building your own PC can be a cost-effective and highly rewarding experience. You get to choose every component, ensuring it meets your needs and stays within your budget. So if you're ready to take the plunge into the world of PC gaming, stick around to learn how to assemble your own gaming PC without breaking the bank. The first step to building your gaming PC is choosing the right components. Each part of your rig plays a vital role in your gaming experience, so let's dive into what you'll need. Starting with the brain of your PC, the processor. In simple terms, the processor does all the thinking for your computer. For a budget-friendly option, consider something like an AMD Ryzen 5. It's powerful enough for most games without breaking the bank. Next up is memory, or RAM. Your computer uses RAM to store data it needs to access quickly. For gaming, you'll want at least 16 gigabytes. Affordable options are available from brands like Corsair and Kingston. Storage is where you'll keep all your games, files, and your operating system. A solid-state drive, or SSD, will give you faster load times than a traditional hard drive. Look for brands like Kingston or Crucial for affordable options. The graphics card is the heart of a gaming PC. It renders all the images you see on screen. Consider something like a GeForce GTX 1650 for an affordable yet capable option. Your power supply is what keeps everything running. You'll need one that can handle all your components. So don't skimp here. Lastly, the case. This is largely a matter of personal preference, but make sure it has enough room for all your components and good airflow. Now that you've chosen your components, you're ready to start assembling your gaming PC. Now comes the fun part, putting it all together. Our first step in this assembly process is mounting the processor. Remember, this is the brain of your gaming PC, so handle it with care. Find the corner of the processor with a tiny golden triangle and align it with the corresponding triangle on the motherboard socket. Once they're lined up, gently drop the processor into place. It should fit snugly without any force. Now secure the processor by lowering the lever arm back into place. Next up is the memory, or RAM. These sticks will slide into the slots on your motherboard. Make sure to align the notches on the RAM sticks with the bumps in the slots. Once they're aligned, press down until you hear a satisfying click. That's the sound of success. Now we move on to the graphics card, the powerhouse that will bring your games to life. Find the PCIe slot on your motherboard, remove the corresponding case slot covers, and slide in your graphics card until it clicks into place. Don't forget to screw it into the case for extra stability. Next in line is the power supply. This is the heart of your PC, pumping life into each of your components. Secure it to the case with the included screws, then start plugging in your components. Every part has its own specific cable, so it's like a puzzle. Just match the shapes. We're almost there. Now it's time to install the storage drives. Slide your hard drive or SSD into the drive bay and secure it with screws. Then connect it to the power supply and motherboard. Last, but certainly not least, We'll place everything into the case. Carefully lower your motherboard into the case, aligning it with the standoffs. Secure it with screws, then close up your case. Congratulations, you've just assembled your gaming PC, but we're not done yet. Let's move on to the software installation next. With the hardware in place, it's time to get your software up and running. First off, you'll need an operating system. For most gamers, Windows is the go-to choice because of its wide compatibility with games. If you're on a tight budget, there's always the option to use a free operating system like Linux, but do keep in mind, not all games support it. Next up, drivers. These are essential to ensure all your hardware components communicate effectively with your operating system. They're usually available on the manufacturer's website. Don't forget to install your graphics card drivers for optimal gaming performance. Lastly, it's time to install your gaming software. Steam is a popular choice for its vast game library, 
Epic Game Store offers free games weekly, and GOG is great for DRM-free games. There are plenty of free or low-cost options out there to kickstart your gaming journey. Now your budget-friendly gaming PC is ready to go. But how much did it all cost? You might be wondering how much does a budget-friendly gaming PC cost? Well, let's break it down. The processor, the brain of your PC, can run you about $150. The motherboard, the backbone, is around the same price. For memory, you're looking at around $75, and a solid-state drive for storage adds another $50. The graphics card, paramount for gaming, can be a bit pricier, about $200. Add in a power supply, case, and cooling fan, and you're looking at a total of around $650. Compared to a pre-built gaming PC, you're saving a good chunk of change. Plus, there's the satisfaction of building your own PC and the potential for future upgrades. You're not just building a machine, you're building a hobby. So there you have it, a budget-friendly gaming PC that doesn't skimp on performance. Happy gaming!